Hello, what's up good people? Welcome to my channel. My name is Pink Stalin and today I'm coming live from Nairobi. Actually, I'm traveling to Dubai and I'll be connecting three. <laughs> I've been connecting uh, from Kisumu, uh, Nairobi, Nairobi, Mombasa, Mombasa, Dubai. Yeah, so my journey has been just long but then we move regardless. I will make sure we get to Dubai. Actually, the train station was full and the booking was that all the trains were sold out. I mean, all the seats were sold out, what am I saying? Yeah, so we managed, like I managed to get a seat to Mombasa because if I would have just missed a seat, then it means I wouldn't be traveling because my flight was in the morning. Yeah, so the trip was amazing. I got to the airport in Mombasa. Imagine I traveled overnight with a train that uh, starts in the morning, in the evening at 10 and I uh, got to the airport in immediately for checking like 3 hours before departure time because you know you never know about international flights. So here I am headed to Nairobi, from Nairobi I'll be heading to Dubai. So sometimes it happens uh, that you have to <laughs> book. Uh, from a certain destination because of um, the availabilities yeah and this um, was due to the budget and everything so what I will say right now we're flying to Nairobi let's meet to Nairobi We are finally landing at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Kenya. Uh, the airport is actually the largest in Kenya and it's located in Nairobi city. The airport has an amazing view and I will say I love the experience flying with uh, Kenya Airways. Guess what guys, we finally landing in Dubai, wow, one of the biggest uh, trips there has been in my bucket list, uh, of course I want to travel to Europe, but then Dubai, <laughs> happy we welcome to Dubai, this is so amazing, so one thing I will say about the airport, um, it's a uh, very big and uh, Inside the airport, actually, immediately you land, you're connected you know, with the train to, uh, to the immigration where you clear up with the immigration. Actually, if you're traveling in Kenya, this is July. If you're traveling from Kenya to Dubai, you're supposed to have your passport, visa, and um, visa and uh, vaccination and sometimes you need insurance of which me i had to like apply for it because 
uh, I didn't know the requirements and I uh, had to follow the procedure and everything yeah even though my trip was organized by a company so uh, everything else was just smooth yes especially uh, the trips in Dubai and everything so um, first of all <laughs> let's continue with the process actually i'll tell you when i get there what happened uh, where did i visit and what places did i go to um, what activities did i take and everything how was the experience in general yes so the airport is very big uh, you connect to an electron electrical train you know it, no one is operating the train so it's automatic you get to eat it's, it connects uh, it connects you to what am i saying uh it connects you to the next uh, destination which is the migration you clear up with the migration just make sure you have the vaccine certificate insurance uh passport and visa i think those are the most important things here yeah so uh, I cleared the migration and I was picked with a very big car. Imagine all this, this for me. <laughs> wow, now everything went on so smooth. I cleared with the migration. I took my baggage and now I'm heading to the hotel. What an amazing trip. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm in Dubai. This is very, very interesting and amazing. I can't wait to experience the whole trip in Dubai. Enjoy!
actually for those who don't know dubai is a city actually it's the second city uh in uh, uae actually the united arab emirates uh the the biggest city in uh, uae is called uh, abu dhabi if i'm not wrong yeah that's the information i know like uh, about the uae actually the place is very developed and it's the most developed desert in the world not only in dubai not only in uae but in the world yeah so let's get to learn different culture you know i know there are so many things which are slightly different to our country especially more especially with culture so i'm hoping that we're going to get to experience new things uh the culture the you know uh about the city the economical social and political everything like how we're going to learn actually here it's about learning not basically about learning but then um as much as we're going for a vacation enjoying ourselves um it's always good to learn something come out at least when you know about um the place how uh the founders what uh contributed to what you know to get to that particular you know point so this is basically all about traveling expanding your mind they are getting to learn new things and as well you know a person who travels is way different from someone who is basically based on one area it's always good to like travel learn new things get new experience yeah and this will help you mentally and also to develop your countries yeah so let's get to it and i hope you find this video useful thank you so much for tuning in for now i'll leave you with this beautiful view headed to my beautiful hotel bye